In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add error bars to your graph. This is the graph of period versus square root mass. In the last tutorial, we determined the absolute uncertainty in square root mass. I'm just going to make that a nice blue kind of color. And we also determined the absolute value in the period in an earlier tutorial. What we need to do is use that information to add error bars to our graph of period versus square root mass. To do that, what you want to do is you want to go to the plus button and you want to select error bars. Now, what's going to happen by default is it's going to give you error bars that don't really mean much, that have the same length horizontally and vertically by the look of it. What we're going to do is select um, them one by one. So we're going to go for the vertical ones first. And what I'm going to do is double click. And that brings up all of our information for changing our options for the vertical error bar. Now a vertical error bar involves the period. It involves the uncertainty, the absolute uncertainty in the period. So what we're going to do, we're going to go custom down the bottom here because we want to use the values we calculated earlier. So we go custom and then we go specify value. At that point, we want to delete what's in these boxes and we'll start with the positive error value. That means basically from the data point up. The negative error value is from the data point down. Now they are the same, so we basically have to select the same column of data twice. That is the absolute uncertainty in the period. So we click that little button right there and we then go to our sheet which contains the data. We go and find the absolute value in our period and we select that data. Once you've done that, you can hit that button again and do the same thing for the negative value. So we hit the little button, we go to our sheet and we select it again because it's the same error in both directions. Um, I mean up and down. And then you hit that button and click OK. And what that's done is it's added our vertical error bars in using the custom values. Now you can see they're very, very tiny. That's OK. They're likely to be tiny due to the fact that there was very little variation in our measurements on timings for period. We now want to fix up the horizontal error bars. The horizontal error bars are related to the absolute uncertainty in square root mass. Um, so what we want to do here is we want to again double click. That brings up the error bar options and if I select the little graphy symbol we're going to get them all there. We want to go custom. We want to specify value. Delete what's there. Choose sheet one. And this is our absolute value in square root mass. Hit the little button. Do the same thing for the negative side. So back to sheet one select the absolute uncertainty in square root mass and then we want to hit that button again and click OK. And what that's now done is it has added the correct length error bars for the absolute uncertainty in square root mass. Now just looking at this graph I've spotted a little error. This here shouldn't be kilograms squared of course it should be kilograms to the power of 0.5. So there'll be a mistake, that means, in a couple of earlier tutorials as well. Your next step from here would be to add in your line of worst fit. And then from that, you would want to use your line of worst fit and your line of best fit to calculate the uncertainty in the gradient. And I will cover that in the next tutorial.